Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. I thought today I'd share with you guys my um, home office space so that you can kind of see where I make all of my videos. So I'll turn the camera around here and kind of show you what things look like. And I apologize if the camera is a little shaky, but I'll do my best to keep things still for you. So let's go ahead and turn this around and see what we have in here. <laughs> This office here is actually um, the office that my father-in-law used when he first started his English school over 25 years ago. And um, I just kind of took over it. So we've got your standard, you know, uh, old school desks, office desks here. They're just really simple with the uh, file cabinet space kind of built into it, you can see. Uh, don't have anything like super fancy in terms of that. This is like just a normal old, you know, desk uh, mat here that's been here for years. I just cleaned it up, tried to make it useful. But um, this side here is where I record and then over there is where I do all my other work. <laughs> and you can see some origami projects up here on top of the cabinet that has coffee cups in it for when we have guests. And um, some of these projects I used to have up online but can't anymore because they were um, I was asked to remove them, but uh, keep some of my bigger stuff up there that I've worked really hard on. And then, on, like I said, on this side, we've got most of the things that I use. I've got all of my um, issues of Noah here that I've gotten from the Nippon Origami Association. I've got my set of Bazil paper here, too, that I use for some of my projects. And I also have this cool uh, Silhouette Cameo um, printer cutter, and I still haven't really had a chance to do anything with it, but I'm excited to use it sometime, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And um, over here are just a bunch of books, and my flashlight, <laughs> and a bunch of books that I've had that I've probably shown most of them to you already, you guys. But um, over on this side, we've got the space where I work and then I've got my boards here that I use to record on. This is just the blank board that I use sometimes in the back so that I can get a better photo shot and this is the one I use here that has the little puppy on it <laughs> so that I can kind of get my spacing right for when I record and I'll kind of show you guys as I set everything up so you can kind of see how things look for that but um, yeah and then I just uh, have paper in these boxes. These are some old cake boxes that I keep um, paper that I'm using currently that I've done a, a review of or that I've left over from projects and some scissors and stuff in here. And then in this one I've just got all of my tape, craft tape, and um, jewels and stuff like that. Hole punches, um, embossers, extra paper, extra wire, extra string. Just kind of a big hodgepodge of stuff that doesn't have a home. <laughs> um, this side of the filing cabinet is all just official business stuff that I don't really do anything about and things like that. So I don't really have anything in these that applies to what I do. But I suppose the biggest spot is probably uh, right here in this bottom drawer is where I keep my origami paper. And at first glance it doesn't look that overwhelming. This is a bunch of the handmade paper that I've gotten from Korea and then underneath here I've got tons of paper. These are all kits and things that I've already made and I've just saved the instructions, opened packs of papers that I've got here, some uh, regular packs of just plain origami paper. This box has just random pieces of nice paper that's kind of just in, in small parts so I keep them in here for when I can find a time to use them. Try to separate them from some of the other things. Uh, I've got the more of the paper back here that I've used. Uh, this is my little piece of paper that I use at the beginning of all my shoots so that I can try to get my color and brightness set right for everything. <laughs> but still, it doesn't work always. Um, and then I've got a bunch of stuff back here too. My top paper. Lots of paper. <laughs> and most of these I've already shown you guys unboxings of. There, I've run out of things to share with you. I need to go shopping and get new stuff. But uh, that's kind of just what's in here. I also have over here, you can see, a whole bunch of origami paper. 
that I bought at Costco, and I don't know if I'll ever use all of it, but I bought a whole bunch once because it was a little cheaper than normal, so I've got that already. This is the roll of the paper that I actually got from Korea. There's 40 or 50 different colors in here, um, all really large size, and then I cut them down for when I do projects. And you see all the little boxes of the unwrappings that I've done here and all the shikishi that I've made are all right here. <laughs> and some more current projects are in boxes up here, like the tulips. Some things I try to put out in front in our doorway to greet people with. But And then all these boxes here are all um, either old files of old magazines that I've kept um, and then also projects that I've finished. Uh, this whole tower of boxes. This is all towers of stuff from my kids, so that's a little different. But I uh, got a lot of things here that I use so that I can create my projects. This right here is an old part to a screen door, uh, like the Japanese style screens that we use to divide rooms. And um, my father-in-law had put this silly little plastic stuff on here, and I don't know what he was going to use it for, but I kept it and um, it's basically just a giant piece of junk, but you'll notice the hole here. This is the hole I cut out so that I can lay my iPad on top of that so I can record. So I'll go ahead and turn things around and show you guys what my recording station looks like here. Hold on a second. So I had these two um, filing little systems on this side and on this side. And the main reason they're here on top of my desk is to support that piece of the screen door that you see here and it's suspended between both of those places to try to keep a nice balanced workspace and then right up here are the two the two lines that are left in the screen and then I just lay my iPad on top here I'll get that out and show you guys how that looks so you can see my iPad is here in position ready to record and then the space I'm using below is where I record at and I just try to keep, you know, my board down here stuck between my stuff here so that it doesn't shift on me when I'm working. And then I just hit record and I get the stuff that I need to record with. Um, I have a standard old school desk lamp here that you can see that's got this nice little hinge to it. And I just use that as the lighting for my recording space. And it's a pretty simple setup, um, just using the materials I've got at home, and um, it, wor it works so I don't mess with it. I just keep it so that I can do my recordings to share with you guys. But um, yeah, that's just kind of a quick introduction to the space that I use to work. So that's just kind of a quick review of my workspace. I know a lot of people have been uh, kind of excited to try their own hand at making um, YouTube videos to explain how to do origami projects and lots of other craft projects. I think it's great that you guys are all doing that. And I hope if anything that I have here that I've used for my setups kind of helps you or gives you any ideas, then uh, feel free and you know go at it. So um, I think it's always great to have more people um, on YouTube helping out and sharing their ideas and their techniques with people. So. Um, yeah, if I have anything else like this to share with you guys, I'll let you know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I do here, but this is pretty much it. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks again always, you guys, so much for watching. And I'll have some more fun videos to share with you guys in the future. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.